Rishi Sunak has condemned violent, wholly unacceptable actions by far-right groups and Hamas sympathizers after protests and clashes in London. Police said 300,000 pro-Palestinian protesters marched to call for a Gaza ceasefire, in demonstrations which coincided with Armistice Day. Counter-protesters made up the vast majority of 126 arrests made, police said, while nine officers were injured. The Met also condemned extreme violence by right-wing activists. Counter-protesters, who included those from far-right groups, clashed with police near London Cenotaph and in Chinatown. Separately, the Met criticized the actions of breakaway groups behaving in an intimidating manner at the end of the pro-Palestinian march, and said arrests were made after fireworks struck officers in the face. It also issued photos of three individuals its suspects of anti-Semitic hate crimes during the march. Mr. Sunak said he wanted everyone involved in criminality to face the full and swift force of the law. And in a statement on Saturday, Metropolitan Police Assistant Commissioner Matt Twist added that community tensions had been increased by a week of intense debate about protest and policing. It followed remarks about the policing of protests ahead of the weekend by Home Secretary Suella Braverman. Police estimated 300,000 pro-Palestinian protesters attended Saturday's rally, though organizers placed the figure at 800,000. BBC reporters at the protest said the rally appeared largely peaceful. Before from the main protest, scuffles broke out shortly after 10 o'clock GMT as police attempted to stop a crowd of people carrying St. George's flags marching along embankment towards Whitehall where the Cenotaph, the 103-year-old war memorial, is located. Officers faced aggression from some of the counter-protesters near the Cenotaph, the Met said. The group, which had been chanting England till I die, pushed through the police barrier, with some shouting let's have them. However, a two-minute silence held at the Cenotaph at 11 o'clock GMT to mark Armistice Day was observed respectfully, police added. On Sunday, King Charles will lead a Remembrance Day service at the Cenotaph alongside veterans, members of the royal family and politicians. A video, shared by the Met on X showed another clash, with counter-protesters shoving police officers and chanting, You're not English, you're not English. You're not English anymore. Police said a group who had moved into Chinatown confronted and threw missiles at officers who tried to engage with them. More than 80 counter protesters who tried to reach the main protest march were arrested to prevent a breach of the peace, police said. Ten others were arrested for other offenses, including possession of offensive weapons, a fray, and possession of drugs. Scotland Yard said many of the counter protesters arrested were connected to football hooliganism and some of them had previous convictions for football violence. During the protests, BBC News was given rare access to the Met Police's control room in South London, which includes thousands of cameras. One live feed from a police helicopter was powerful enough to show a man sitting in a pub window and how much he had left in his drink. On the pro-Palestinian march, chants of free Palestine and ceasefire now could be heard as crowds began marching from London's Hyde Park. At one point the march, organized by the Palestine Solidarity Campaign, extended from the Hilton Hotel in Park Lane to the U.S. Embassy in Nine Elms, a distance of roughly 2.5 miles. Organizers believe 800,000 people attended but police estimated 300,000. One demonstrator told BBC News. We want a ceasefire. People are suffering, children are dying under the rubble, and no one seems to care about them. He also criticized the Prime Minister for saying the timing of the march was disrespectful as it coincided with Armistice Day. The man added, It is disrespectful to allow children to die. Another protester said, I think it is the perfect day to actually do it on, because that's what Armistice is. It is a call for ceasefire and a call for stopping war. Elsewhere, Footage shared on social media showed Michael Gove ushered through London's Victoria Station by police officers as crowds waving Palestinian flags shouted, Shame on you. A source close to the leveling up secretary said he had been returning from his constituency and was taken away in a police van. In his statement, Mr. Sunak said, I condemn the violent, 
wholly unacceptable scenes we have seen today from the EDL and associated groups and Hamas sympathizers attending the National March for Palestine. The despicable actions of a minority of people undermine those who have chosen to express their views peacefully. He said the clashes utterly disrespects the honor of our armed forces, saying that is true for EDL thugs attacking police officers and trespassing on the Senate F and also for those singing anti-Semitic chants and brandishing pro-Hamas signs and clothing on today's protest. Meanwhile, Labour politicians have criticized Mrs. Braverman over comments she made about policing and the protests. Sir Kira Starmer, writing in the Sunday Telegraph, accused Mrs. Braverman of demeaning her office. He said few people in public life had recently done more than the Home Secretary to whip up division, set the British people against one another and sow the seeds of hatred and distrust. The Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, called for her to resign or be sacked in an article for the Sunday Mirror. He also paid tribute to the Met on X. The force's assistant commissioner Mr. Twist said hundreds of counter-protest demonstrators had seemed intent on confrontation and intent on violence. In a statement, he praised his officers, who put themselves in harm's way, for ensuring nobody was able to reach the cenotaph, which was protected at all times. The Met was also looking for three individuals at suspects of anti-Semitic hate crimes during Saturday's protest. One shows a woman carrying a placard on which the Jewish symbol, the Star of David, is shown to incorporate a swastika. Two other men are shown in photographs apparently taken during the march. No major protest is scheduled to take place on Remembrance Sunday although the policing operation will continue with some 1,375 officers deployed amid commemoration events in the capital. The Met said it had made 188 hate crime arrests, the majority for anti-Semitic offenses, since the conflict between Hamas and Israel erupted on 7 October.